I hope you're not doing your hotel bookings via spreadsheet or even worse, manually. There's a hotel booking plugin for WordPress that's going to make your life easier and it's made by MotoPress. Plus, they even have a free version, so there is no excuse to start using technology right now on your hotel. So let me show you how this works. Now, right now, you can grab the hotel booking plugin for free by downloading it and uploading it on your WordPress site, or just go ahead and search for hotel booking plugin by MotoPress on your WordPress site and install it. There's a free version that has plenty of features that will help you get started. Now, once you get to the advanced features, then go ahead and jump into the paid version. Now, you can go ahead and test this out right now by going into plugin demo, and this will give you a feel for what you can expect with the plugin. Now, what I'm going to do right now is show you how this is going to look and feel in the front end. And then I'm going to show you the back end, which is the more boring stuff. But it's really important that you understand everything that you're going to get with this plugin, which is pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and view this demo site, which is the view Villas live demo. Now, in this case, this is a demo site where you can to go in and check out how this plugin works. Now, we're able to view the accommodations available here on this site and this is what you can actually accomplish with your hotel so right now we have this search bar in the top where we can select the dates that we want to book for example the check-in date i can give you this date and all the way up to this date the amount of adults too and no children and i'm going to search now by selecting those dates and the amount of people i'm going to get idea of what is available for me to reserve you can see here i have all these available options to book and I can go ahead and see what the details are about for this hotel. I can view, for example, view more details. Here we go. I can change the date if I want for the check in the check out, the amount of people, adults, etc. This can accommodate up to eight adults. So maybe you want to add more, change the dates, reservation form. If you want to check the availability or if you just want to book. Now, that's one of the ways that you can use this by making a general search and seeing all the available rooms in those dates or hotels. In this case, I can go ahead and book one of these. So, for example, if I know I want this one, it's for 10 people, uh, four children, and that's uh, 260 square meters, then I can go ahead and book this one right now. So I'm going to go ahead and book it, select my dates. I'm good to go, check the availability, and we're good to go. So it's a fantastic option to use. So you get an idea of the feel. Now, is this easy to implement on your website? It actually is, but it takes a few steps and a few settings plus a lot of time with your setup because you need to add all your accommodations, but they have something really unique that I haven't seen with other plugins. They can help you get started. So they have an extension that's called initial configuration. So if you want to avoid doing this on your own, you can definitely grab this. So they'll tell you what you'll get on the basic package, the standard and the advanced in case you don't want to do it manually. Now I'm just saying this because I think this is really interesting and if I want to save time because I'm already busy with my hotel, then I definitely want, want someone to help me out with this, right? But if you want to do it manually, you're totally fine, okay? So I've added my hotel booking and I have two new menus on the left, which is the accommodations and the bookings. Now this is divided into sections. Accommodations is like where all the setup is going to go. You're going to set up all your rooms, your details, your, uh, your rules, etc. all this will be available here. And then it's going to be divided with a booking where we're going to get all the reservations. It's like, this is where we're going to view the reports, the coupons, the clients, etc., the hotel booking, the calendar. This is where we're going to view it. But first we need to get started with accommodations. I would recommend that you get started with the settings. This is where you first want to get started before you add your accommodations and all of that, because it's just some basic things that you want to take care of before you get started, right? So you first, you got your general settings, for example, your search results page, your checkout page, and you want to set these to the correct page, but these pages are created automatically. But if you want to change those because you want to make it look better or you may change the style or a theme, then go ahead and manually select the page. You got your terms and conditions where you can select that page in case it's not added here and several details that you want to go through one by one and with calm, all right? But you do want to take care of this and give it some time. Your admin emails, set that up here customer emails, your email settings, payment gateways, extensions, advanced options, and all of that, right? But next we want to go into the accommodation types. So what are we going to offer? I've added one of these for testing purposes, but it's just super easy to add an accommodation. Now, things that I do recommend that you want to do and will happen along the way is that you want to set up, for example, for example, accommodation categories, accommodation tags, amenities, and other details. So in this case, I've added this one manually, the wow one, and I'll tell you why. Um, 
Why? Because when you create this, you want to tie those with those because these are details that customers want to know about this accommodation type. So for example, if I go to edit, hypothetically saying that we created a brand new uh, accommodation, title, description, and we'll go down here. You got your attempts, your discounts. You want to allow comments in this. Maybe that's not a good idea, but it's up to you. I wouldn't allow it, but you, you decide what you want to do, right? Accommodations, for example, total accommodations. So in this case, five active accommodations, five. So that means that I got five rooms that are exactly the same, right? The linked accommodations and we have the capacity here. So in this case, this accommodations for four adults, two children, you can see the capacity here, the base adult occupancy, the base children occupancy and the others. For example, this one is 55 square meters. You can change it there. A view and these are details that you can manually add here. And I said pool, the bed type, in this case, it's queen and the available services. These services I've generated previously. It's kind of like the categories and things that you add. So I do recommend that you add services and then you just take on and you know that that one includes it. So in this case, it includes in room service. That's just an example of how easy it is to add the available service here. And on the right, you have the accommodation categories. So uh, kings, penthouse, roomy, add more accommodation categories here. Uh, tags, these help you uh, locate it, helps people if you want to uh, show the tags, room, view, etc. The amenities, so again, add all the amenities here. You got AC, TV, you got a view. Maybe this one has an indoor pool, um, heating, etc. Just add all the amenities right here. Uh, post attributes, in this case, attributes as well. I've added that manually. Then you add your photo gallery and your featured image and you got your comedy ready to go. Now you don't have to manually add one by one in case you have like five of these or 10, you don't have to do that. You can create those later on. So just create the main one and then say, you know what? I got five of these and it's just super easy to do so. So you got your accommodation type. You can add accommodation types here. You got your categories. So just like I told you before, it's recommended that you add all these categories and then just go ahead and create your accommodations. You got your tags, amenities, attributes, seasons. Seasons is important. I would recommend here that you add your seasons because you can change pricing and do several things with seasons. For example, New Year, Christmas, um, Easter, etc. Add all your seasons here. You got your rates that you can set here, for example, at your rates. Then you got your services, which is also like, I would say the categories, you got all your services here. You got your accommodations. You got your generate accommodations, settings, languages, in case you want to change the language, all that will be available here. And then we have a booking. So once you kick off your site and you're taking in new bookings, well, you're going to be able to view them right here. And you got all bookings to view them here. You're, they're all going to be listed and you can manually create bookings from here. So if you're taking a call and they made a reservation, you can do the manual by adding it right here, a new booking. You got your payment history, your calendar. So in calendar, you're going to view all the bookings available in a nice, neat form. That's going to help you preview the whole calendar for the month, the year, etc. And you got your filters on the top to view them. The list of customers, you can create coupons. So if you want to create coupons for your VIP customers, for whatever reason, you can create coupons here. A uh, booking rules. I think this is super important that you check out. I think it's fantastic that they have this option which is, for example, you got rules for check-in days, uh, check-out days, the minimum stay, for example. Maybe these are cabins that you are renting out and you don't want to rent it out for one day. So what do you want to do? Add a uh, rule here. You'd say three nights is the minimum. And what accommodations does this apply to? In this case, I only have one, but here we go. The penthouse suite and the seasons. So for example, maybe in New Year, I don't mind that it's... Uh, three days, maybe it's five days if it's new year, etc. That's why you want to have seasons there. The maximum stay, maybe, hey, you know what? More than 30 days, you're not going to be able to stay on this hotel room. And just like this, you have several available rules here that I think is fantastic that these options are available here. Then you got your tax and fees, which will vary depending on states, countries, uh, areas, etc. You can set those up right here really easily. Sync your calendar if you want to sync in. View reports in case you want to generate reports and you can also and export them by setting up the filters and you will be good to go. Plus, they have several extensions to make it even more powerful, like the first one I showed you, which is the initial configuration, which I think is fantastic. I would definitely pay for this if I had a hotel and I wouldn't be taking a lot of time with the initial setup. I would definitely get help and then go through the other steps that I need. But there's several available extensions that you can start using right now and have a beautiful hotel book.
inside. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how do we add all of this? So in accommodations, there's a short code. If you are not going to use one of the generated pages, you can use short codes. Now, short codes are going to be able to be used in any part of the WordPress. So for example, if I go down here and I'm going to search, for example, accommodation type listing. So I'm just going to grab this short code. Let's go into pages. Here we go. Let's add a new page. I'm going to add the short code right here. Let's go ahead and preview this. There we go. Just by adding the short code, I didn't do anything. I didn't make the site look nice or anything like that. It just automatically, it did it for me. So just by adding a short code, we now have this listing to book. Now I know this doesn't look good because the theme is nothing fancy at all, but it just gives you an idea that we can add sections where you can add the calendars, the booking, etc. just by adding the short code, which is super practical to embed this on your website. So short codes is a fantastic way to implement your changes and look and style to your site to start accommodating new guests for your hotel. So definitely grab it now. Remember, there is a free plugin available for this. There's a free version that you can start using right now so you can get started right away without any hassle. So check it out. Link provided in the description. And that is a wrap.